in this video i will talk about diode equivalent circuits for example let's say i have a simple diode circuit here this circuit contains a voltage source of 5 volt a silicon diode and a resistance of 1 kilo ohm we know that a diode is a non linear element and when we classify an element as a non-linear element we cannot apply Ohm's law in that circuit so I can say that when a circuit contains a non-linear element or electronic devices like a diode or transistor that circuit will not follow traditional circuit analysis method like Ohm's law KVL, mesh analysis, nodal analysis, superposition theorem, Thevenin theorem, Norton theorem, maximum power transfer theorem, source transformation theorem, the theorem like this. That's why when we encounter any non-linear element in a circuit, we have to replace those non-linear elements with their equivalent circuit. So at first you have to understand what is an equivalent circuit. An equivalent circuit of a device like a diode or transistor so i can say an equivalent circuit of a diode or transistor refers to a theoretical circuit that contains combination of electrical elements that theoretical circuit will contain the combination of electrical elements for example resistor inductor capacitor voltage source or current source and retains all the electrical characteristics of that device that means if i replace the diode or transistor with that theoretical circuit that will preserve the original electrical characteristics of that device for example if i talk about iv characteristics that will preserve the iv characteristics of that device then i can say that that theoretical circuit will be the equivalent circuit of that diode or transistor as it will not change the characteristics of the circuit once the device is replaced by its equivalent circuit the resulting network can be solved by traditional circuit analysis method usually the diode equivalent circuits are classified into three types first one is approximate equivalent circuit or piecewise linear equivalent circuit second one is simplified equivalent circuit or constant voltage drop model and third one is ideal equivalent circuit now i will talk about approximate equivalent circuit or piecewise linear equivalent circuit now at first let me talk about piecewise linear region of the iv curve after that i will describe how do we get this equivalent circuit the exponential IV relation of diode complicates the analysis of diode circuits. Because of that, we cannot use traditional circuit analysis method in a diode circuit. The analysis can be greatly simplified if the diode IV characteristics is approximated with linear relationship. One technique for obtaining an equivalent circuit of a diode is to approximate the device characteristics by straight line segments as shown in this figure here this blue curve will represent the exponential iv characteristics curve see we can approximate the iv curve with two straight line from zero to built-in potential line a and from built-in potential to this point line b here the line segment a and the line segment b will not result the exact duplication of the actual characteristics especially in this region see in this knee region there is a large deviation between these two curves but the line segments a and b are sufficiently close to the actual curve to establish the equivalent circuit that will provide an excellent first approximation to the actual behavior of the device so from zero to built-in potential i will approximate the IP curve with line segment A and from built-in potential to this point I will approximate the IP curve with line segment B see from this point to built-in potential ID equal to 0 so ID will be equal to 0 milliampere for diode voltage 
less than or equal to built in potential let's say this represents the line a see from this point to this point i will get line b here i can represent the equation of line b by using this formula id equal to diode voltage vd minus knee voltage or built in potential vk divided by r d for v d greater than v k here v k is the built in potential see this is the v k okay and the r d is the dynamic or forward resistance of the diode which can be represented by the slope of the line b how do we calculate the slope of the line b see if i consider a point v1 here and let's say v2 here okay v1 here and v2 here therefore i will get change of voltage equal to v2 minus v1 and when the voltage vd equal to v1 let's say the current i is i1 when the voltage vd equal to v2 the current is equal to i2 so i will get change in current i2 minus i1 and this delta i by delta v will represent the slope of the line b because we calculate the slope of any straight line by using change in y axis divided by change in x axis here in the y axis i have taken the diode current id and in the x axis i have taken the diode voltage v d now see this is the slope of the line b this is the ratio of current and voltage usually by using ohm's law we calculate the resistance of any device by using this formula r equal to v by or change in voltage divided by change in current using graphical method here i have here i have delta i by delta v therefore this slope will represent 1 by resistance and and that resistance is the dynamic or forward resistance of the diode okay now let me show you the piecewise linear equivalent circuit or approximate equivalent circuit we have approximated the exponential iv curve with two line segments this one with line a which is represented by this equation i d equal to 0 milliampere for vd less than or equal to vk here vk is the built in potential and with line b and this segment with line b which is represented by this equation i d equal to vd minus vk divided by rd here this rd is the dynamic or forward resistance of the diode piecewise linear model shown by this equation and this equation can be represented by this equivalent circuit see this will be our piecewise linear equivalent circuit which will include ideal diode a voltage source vk opposing the applied forward voltage vd and the diode forward resistance r d now let me describe how does that happen if i have a diode here let's say if i apply forward voltage vd across this diode to indicate the direction of current flow we will indicate the ideal model of the diode this ideal model will indicate the direction of current flow only in this direction when this diode will be in forward bias and when this diode will be in reverse bias this ideal diode will be replaced by an open circuit in a pn junction semiconductor the diode will not conduct unless we apply any voltage greater than the built-in potential that means the built-in potential vk will oppose the applied forward voltage v d now to show that opposition by the built-in potential we have to indicate a potential source or voltage source v k with plus terminal at this side and minus terminal at this side see when this diode will be in forward bias current will be flowing in this direction from this plus terminal towards this minus terminal as built-in potential will oppose the direction of current flow 
it will try to contact the current in this direction because it is its positive terminal and it is its negative terminal so it will try to contact the current in this direction which indicates the opposite direction of the current indicated by the diode voltage vd once we apply any voltage greater than the built-in potential our diode will start conducting therefore i will get a diode current ID through the diode from this terminal towards this terminal. Therefore, I will get a voltage drop ID RD due to the internal resistance of this diode. Now, to show that internal resistance, I will include that internal resistance in the equivalent circuit. This will be our RD. Now, see if I want to conduct the current through the diode, the applied forward voltage vd must be equal to the sum of built-in potential plus id into rf once we apply any voltage greater than vk plus id into rf our diode will be in conducting mode and this circuit will be our piecewise linear equivalent circuit or approximate equivalent circuit as we have approximated the iv curve by two straight line segments now how do we calculate the dynamic or forward resistance of a diode see what reciprocal of dynamic resistance is given by change of diode current divided by change of diode voltage so if i take the reciprocal of this i will get rd equal to delta vd divided by delta i d delta vd that means v2 minus v1 divided by i2 minus i1 let's say when vd is equal to 0 0.6 when v1 is equal to 0 0.6 our i1 will be equal to 0 milli ampere now look at this point when this vd will be equal to v2 equal to 0 0.9 volt our diode current ID will be nearly 12 milli ampere and this diode current will be our I2 so if I calculate the change in voltage 0.9 minus 0 0.6 divided by 12 milli ampere minus 0 I will get 25 ohm usually in case of silicon diode the dynamic resistance or forward resistance of a diode ranges from 1 ohm to 25 Ohm. Now let me show you the simplified equivalent circuit or constant voltage drop model of the diode. In case of simplified equivalent circuit, we have to assume the dynamic resistance or the forward resistance of the diode Rd equal to 0 ohm and we can obtain a more simpler model of the diode forward characteristics by approximating the first rising portion of this IV curve. See this is the first rising portion of the exponential IV curve by a vertical line segment as shown here and the resulting model says that a forward conducting diode exhibits a constant voltage drop VK. Usually in case of silicon diode the VK is equal to 0 0.7 volt and in case of a germanium diode vk is equal to 0 0.3 volt and you will see if i approximate the iv curve with these two line segments this vertical line will produce an angle of 90 degree with this vertical terminal therefore the slope of this vertical line will be equal to 10 90 degree which will be equal to infinity now we can show the simplified equivalent circuit by this circuit structure if i have a diode let's say here if i apply a voltage forward voltage vd across the diode to indicate the direction of the current flow through this diode i will include the ideal diode this ideal diode will represent the direction of current when the diode is in forward bias that means when this diode will be in forward bias i will get the current flow in this direction when this diode will be in reverse bias i will simply replace the ideal diode with an open circuit now see a diode 
when we are working with simplified model will not conduct any current through it unless we apply a voltage equal to its built-in potential and simplified equivalent circuit states that when we apply any voltage greater than the built-in potential when we apply any forward voltage greater than the built-in potential our diode will preserve its built-in potential of 0.7 volt or 0.3 volt across it therefore i can represent this diode with a symbol of ideal diode and an opposing voltage source equal to its built-in potential and when i will be considering this i have to assume the diode forward resistance rd or dynamic resistance rf will be equal to zero so this will be the simplified equivalent circuit or constant voltage drop model of the diode and we use mostly this equivalent circuit simplified equivalent circuit when we analyze any diode circuit and this will be our simplified equivalent circuit now let me talk about the ideal equivalent circuit of the diode when i will consider the ideal equivalent circuit we have to assume the built-in potential of the diode vk is equal to zero and the forward resistance or the dynamic resistance of the diode rd is equal to zero in that case our ideal diode will act like a switch when the ideal diode is in on state it will act like a closed switch when it will be in off state during reverse bias it will act like an open switch as we don't have any internal resistance or forward resistance and we don't have any built-in potential therefore we will get the current flow through the diode at the same instant we are applying the voltage across it now see this vertical line will produce an angle of 90 degree with this diode voltage axis therefore i will calculate slope equal to 10 theta 10 90 degree will be equal to infinity now let me show the ideal equivalent circuit see if i have a diode here this diode will be in forward bias if i apply a voltage whose higher potential is connected at this terminal and lower potential is connected at this terminal in that case our diode will be in forward bias so when it, this diode will be in forward bias this diode when i consider the ideal diode will be replaced by a simply closed switch or a short circuit between the two terminals okay now see if i apply a voltage at this terminal whose negative terminal is connected with the p side and positive terminal is connected with the n side it is obvious that the diode will be in reverse bias so i will replace the ideal diode with an open switch or an open circuit when the diode is in reverse bias and this will happen when the diode will be in forward bias that's it thank you